Hi everybody, welcome to this platform. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got uh, this question where we need to write the four inequalities. So I've got this one, this one, this one, and uh, this one. So to write the inequalities here, we first need to understand or to identify inequalities which do not require gradient. So for example, this, there is no gradient for this one. Even this one doesn't have a gradient. And if you're able to see nicely, you see that the inequalities with the slope, there are only two. So this one has got a gradient. This one has got a, a gradient because uh, it's a slope. Gradient is the same as a slope. So we can say inequality one. Okay. So for inequality one, we shall say y is less or equal to 6. So why have I decided to use y is less or equal to 6? Because this inequality is passing at 6. And which axis is it cutting? It's a y axis. So I'll say y passing at 6. This is a 6. Now for the less or equal to, you follow where it's not shaded and it's bottom. The less part is what is not uh, shaded. So we're going to say less or equal to 6. And after writing that, I'll come to this one. I'll say this is in quality 2. So this is x-axis, of course. It's cutting x-axis at 2. So I'll say less or equal to a 2. Also for this one, it's passing at 2 on the x-axis. And when we check nicely, the side which is not shaded, it's the less of the x-axis. So we shall say less or equal to. After doing that, we can now come to this one. So for this one, we're going to identify the coordinates. So here where it's passing, this is, a, um, this is negative 2, comma, 0. And here where it's passing, it's at 0, comma, 4. So that's the first step identify the coordinates and after identifying the coordinates we can now find a gradient the slope this one has got slope that's why we need uh, the coordinates and this is the formula for finding uh, the slope okay okay so once you get to know the formula you can indicate that this is your x1 y1 x1 uh, 2 y2 so substitute in your formula this, of course, will be a 4. This is y2. It's a 4 minus y1, a 0. Over here, negative 2 minus, actually, it's a 0. Start with this one because this is x2. It's a 0 minus negative 2. So very important here, this coordinate has got a negative sign. Remember to put it inside the brackets. If you don't put it inside the brackets, your answer will be wrong. So after doing that, you now simplify. So this is giving us a 4 over a 2. Because a, a negative and negative will give us a positive. 0 plus 2, it will just be a 2. And we will therefore get the gradient to be equal to a 2. So we now know that the gradient or the slope for this inequality is a 2. Now we can find equation of a straight line. So let me write it here. This is a gradient. And the gradient that we have found is a, a 2. So for us to find equation of a straight line, we are going to use the formula right here. This is the formula we need to use. Okay? So in case you don't know, you can use this or that other one. But for this video, I will use this formula. So for this formula... You maintain the y minus where there is y1. You can get these coordinates or those. So I'll get these. Where there is y1, it's a 0, which is equal to m is a 2. We found the gradient to be equal to 2. And then x maintain x1, it's a negative 2. Remember to put it inside the brackets because it has got a negative sign. So we can simplify. We've got y is equal to 2. Here it will be x plus 2. And then we simplify further. 
it's giving us a y is equal to 2x plus 4. So this is the equation over this line. Now to show the inequality, when you check nicely, this is just an equation. You will see that this is y, okay? y is less or equal to uh, 2x plus a 4, okay? So this is y is less or equal to 2x plus 4. So this is y is less or equal to 2x plus 4. The reason why I've used less is because when you look at this inequality, where it's not shaded is to the less part down here. So we shall say less or equal to. So that's inequality 2. I mean inequality 3. We can write it right over here. So this is inequality 3 y is less or equal to 2x plus a 4. So please, if you're writing an exam, remember to show all these steps, okay? So from here, we now go to the fourth inequality. And uh, the fourth inequality, it's right over here. So it has got a slope also, identify the coordinates. So this is a 0, 0. While wow, here for this one, it's a 2 comma negative 2. You need to find the gradient, of course. So we shall say m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So here we can say this is our x1, y1. Or if you want, you can just say, okay, for here, this is my x1, y1, x2, y2. So what is our y2? It's a negative 2 minus y1, it's a 0. Over x2, it's a 2 minus 0. So you simplify, this will be minus 2 over a 2, which of course will give us a minus a 1. Okay, so once you get this, you now use this formula for finding an equation of a straight line. Okay, this is the formula we're now using. Okay, so for this formula, of course, we're going to substitute our y1, it's a 0, so maintain the y, like I said on the previous equation, minus 0 is equal to negative 1, open bracket, x minus 0. So we simplify, this is y is equal to negative 1 multiplied by x which will come out as y is equal to negative x so we've now found the inequality this one i mean the equation now to show the inequality we can say this is y is greater than negative x so why why have i decided to just say greater than negative x is because when you look nicely the greater part is what is shaded and this line is dotted so don't put an equal to just say greater than x. If it's less, you say less than x because the line is dotted. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.